Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and today our topic is Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. This is called DSCP protocol. Basically, this protocol is used to provide the automatic IP addressing to the number of PCs in a network. It provides the IP address, subnet mask, gateways and other parameters to the network devices from a centralized servers. That is means the devices that is connected to the uh, to the DSCP server to the routers will be assigned the IP addresses and other parameters automatically right so there are some key features of DSCP server like automatic IP address it will provide it will provide least bit based IP addressing that is means the IP addresses provided will be a at limited time period it will pro it provide the centralized management of the IP addresses that is means it will assign and the IP address is automatically also it will revoke the IP addresses automatically and there are some number of configuration processor that will be easier if I configure the DSCP server so it is automatically providing the IP addresses okay let's discuss about more clearly about this with this diagram okay so dear this is an this is a DSCP server basically our router is a DSCP server and it uh, automatically provides the IP address to all the PCs like this. It has provided all the IP addresses automatically like 192.168.10.2, 10.3, If another PC will be connected like this, it will also provide the IP address to that one also like 192.168.10.5. If I talk about the benefits of the DSCP server, so it provides the simplified network management. That it means it automates the IP address and assign the IP addresses by the by reducing the administrative overload. That it means now the administrator don't have, administrator doesn't have to provide the IP addresses to the or to the PCs in the network. Okay, it reduces the configuration error. That it means. When I provide the IP address, it may be possible that uh, there can be a human error like I can, it may be possible there can be any change in the digits or IP address numbers. So that is reduced by the help of our DSCP server. It will efficient the IP utilization. That, it may, that is means when we dynamically I provide the IP address, so it will assign IP addresses on the basis of series of some numbers and that will optimize the IP address resolution okay IP address utilization will be reduced okay and let's talk about the talk about the DSCP server in our local network so dear this is my PC configuration in which we have provided some IP addresses so you can see my PC has allotted an IP address 192.168. 102 okay and this is a dscp server 192.168.0.1 so if you if you want to check these parameters just go to cmd okay command prompt in command prompt just put a command ip config slash all and press enter you will find number of ip addresses available here for now that the pc i'm using in this the dscp server is what I am using the Wi-Fi adapter. So my IP address provided by the DSCP server is what? 192.168.1.5. Okay. And the IP address is available for the DSCP server is 192.168.1.1. There this IP address will be last for 48 hours approximate. Okay. Thereafter the my IP address can be changed. Okay. Let's back get back to our slide. So Dear, there are four different operation in DSCP server. Basically, first operation is discover message. A discover message will be generated from the client. Let us assume this PC is requesting an IP address. So first of all, it will forward a discover message to the switch that I need to find the DSCP server. So all the packets will be broadcasted in all the direction, all the PCs, but the DSCP server will only accept the, the same message. That is means <clears throat> this message is used to discover the DSCP server. Only the DSCP server will accept these kind of 
request okay after that the dscp server will offer an ip address to this pc that i have this ip address 192.168.10.2 that has not been provided would you like to take this one in response of that this pc will forward a request message yes i want to want this ip address please allot me this ip address okay in response of that the dscp server will forward an acknowledgement yes you can take this ip address 192.168.10.2 this is how the dscp server works in the four different processes these processes are discover first of all discover message will be generated from client then offer message will be forwarded by the dscp server in response of that the client will forward a request message as i need this ip addresses then the acknowledgement will be forwarded so dear all this is the configuration of the dscp server first of all enable configuring term terminal we will create a pool of ip addresses then provide the network information and then default router information that is means the ip address allotted to the default gateway of the router then dns server and that, that's all and as we already have used this one ip address from the pool 192.168.1.0 so we have to de delete this ip address from the dscp server okay let's do this configuration practically dear i have created this dscp server uh, this is our dscp server and this is the gateway available for the dscp server so first of all provide the ip address to the interface enable configuring terminal interface g 0 slash 0 slash 0 no shutdown okay ip address is what 192.168.10.1 okay so we have 10.1 255.255.255.0 so we have just provided an ip address to the dscp server interface okay now we will configure the dscp server over this router so this router will be responsible to assign the ip address to all of these pcs okay here there's something called pool of ip address what is the meaning of pool of ip address it means the group of ip what pool of ip that is also called group of ip so let us assume we have some i am allotting the entire range of 192.168.10.0 192.168.10.0 to this dscp server so what will be the pool of ip address 192.168.10.1 will be the first ip address 192.168.10.2 will be the second ip address and the last ip address will be 192.168.10.255 so in this pool and let us assume the name of pool is what name ccna so this pool ccna has ip addresses from 192.168.10.0 to 255 that is means total 256 ip address are available for this pool okay let's go to the router uh, router again and start the configuration okay so ip dscp pool ccna i'm creating a pool a group of ip address ip dscp pool ccna and the network available for that is what 192.168.10.0 okay 255.255.255.0 okay now we have to provide the information of router default router will be 192.168.10.1 that is means i am providing the information of what this gateway to the dscp server that this is our gateway that has to be provided to the pc when the pc will request for the dscp server okay so we have provided the defo default router then provide the dns server is 2.2.2.2 random dns server i have taken okay then so that's all now there is one ip address that is autom that is already used by the dscp server that is 192.168.10.1 so we have to delete one ip address from the pool of ip how could this be possible by the help of what by the command ip dscp 
excluded address excluded address 192.168.10.10.1 so this will be deleted from the database of dscp server it will this ip address will not be allotted to any one of them now we will request one ip address address on any pc let us assume this pc want to get some ip address so i will click on this pc go to ip addressing okay and here let me open the packet tracer also uh, we will also capture the packets okay let's click on dscp so dear you can see a dscp packet will be generated a dscp will packet will be generated and this packet will be forwarded to the switch and then the switch will broadcast this packet because first of all the pc will find the dscp server so how this packet will be broadcasted to everyone and only the dscp server will accept the packet you can see all of them have rejected the packet only the dscp server has accepted the packet and in response of that the dscp server will forward an arp packet this arp packet will be forwarded to everyone in the network on and no one will accept this packet because in this packet it is already mentioned that the packet has been forwarded to check that is the ip address 192.168.10.0.10.2 has been allotted or not so whenever i will click this packet i will find that this packet has not been allotted this packet is generated to check that 192.168.10.2 has been allotted or not if the dscp server will get the response from any pc that is means this ip address already available in the network but the dscp server is checking that is the ip address is allotted or not so this packet will be rejected by everyone in the network that is means this ip address has not been allotted 192.168.10.2 now the dscp server will forward an offer message which one so this is an offer message generated by the dscp server what are what are the details in this packet let's observe so dscp server is is offering an ip address 192.168.10.2 right and its own ip address is 192.168.10.1 okay it has a mac address this one is the MAC address 0060 and so on. Okay. So DSCP server has requested a has offering uh, as is offering a IP address 192.168.10.2. So this packet will be only received by which one? This person because they already mentioned the MAC address of this PC. Okay, so all of them will be rejected the same packet. This will accept because the broadcast was received to the switch and switch has forwarded to next one okay in response of that this pc will forward a request message yes i want this ip address 192.168.10.2 okay and this packet will be only accepted by which one this one okay in response of that an acknowledgement will be forwarded to the pc that yes <clears throat> you can have you can save this ip address okay whenever i will go to pc you can see that 192.168.10.2 is available here so dear this process is called dora process dora means discover offer reply and acknowledgement so if you have any query so you can ask me and please subscribe and share to your friends have a nice day